I rise today as a co-sponsor of House Resolution 357, which recognizes April as Financial Literacy Month, and I would strongly urge my colleagues to support it. I'd like to begin uh, by thanking my good friend and fellow chair of the House Financial and Economic Literacy Caucus, Mr. Hinojosa, for his continuing efforts to improve financial literacy rates in America. And I know he would have liked to have been here if, if he could have. He's been such an important fo uh, force in financial literacy uh, matters and, and will continue to be. And I would like to thank uh, my colleague from Kansas, Mr. Moore, for uh, managing this bill on his behalf. Uh, our Financial Literacy Caucus has been at the forefront of this issue for several years, but we have much more work to do, uh, do before us if we're going to help today's children become uh, tomorrow's smart investors, entrepreneurs, and business leaders, especially in tough economic times like this. Mr. Speaker, efforts to stimulate the economy cannot succeed unless we equip Americans with the knowledge and resources they need to succeed in today's market. According to the Jumpstart Coalition, high school seniors uh, in 2008 answered only 48.3% uh, of, of, uh, of their organization service, uh, surveys questions correctly on personal finance, a decline of 4.1% from 2006. And your average baby boomer still only has less than $50,000 in savings, and that savings continues to shrink as our economy continues to re uh, regain its momentum. I know it's kind of odd to think about, but one of the few bright spots in the current economic uh, climate is that savings rates has finally risen above the near zero level, up to uh, the 4% range. I think Americans are learning that a financial buffer is critical when times get unexpectedly tough. So while we want to stimulate uh, commerce in the short term, we must ensure that people do not forget the lessons of the past. We need to be prepared for tuition costs, a home, health care, and retirement. We need a financial cushion against unexpected challenges like the death of a family uh, member or a health condition. And we need the uh, capital necessary for new entrepreneurs to launch the startups and open the small businesses that drive this economy. Every American should have the opportunity and the know-how to fulfill each of these goals. And we must share these lessons with our children and, and our grandchildren through new effective methods of teaching sound money management skills. So that's why I urge uh, my colleagues to support this resolution and show that financial literacy remains a top priority for Congress. And I'd also like to encourage uh, members of the House and their staff to attend Friday's annual Financial Literacy Day Fair, which will be held from 12 to uh, noon to 4 in the afternoon in the Cannon Caucus Room where you'll be able to find a broad array of financial uh, educational materials and ideas for reaching out to, uh, to constituents on this important issue. With that, I would reserve the balance of my time. 